A 28 uniform chain with a mass of 2 pounds per foot is dangling from the roof of a building. How much work is needed to pull the whole chain up onto the top of the building? Now a lot of students might think, well, I mean, work is just force times distance, and force in this case is pounds. So all I have to do is multiply 28 by 2 pounds per foot and I've got it. Well, it doesn't quite work like that because if you think about it, so let's just say that this is the building and the chain is dangling over the side of the building here. As soon as he takes, let's say, just this much up over the top, the rest weighs less. So every unit of measure that he pulls over the top, the amount of force or weight of the chain changes. So this is why we have to use slicing in order to calculate this properly because each little slice has its own work requirement to get it up over the top. So this slice down here has a different work requirement to get it over the top as say something that's closer to the top. Okay, so let's see, work is force times distance. Force is pounds. In this case, distance is feet. So I'll draw my little picture again here so that you can see it. So here's the chain, and I know that the whole length of the chain is 28 feet. So let's label that. That's pretty much all we know. Um, let's just take a slice right here, and that slice is going to go up over the top, and we want to calculate the work on that slice. Now since the slice is going up over the top, I'm going to choose the distance that travels is to be H. And there's a reason why I choose that over something else. Let's think just for a moment. We have the same situation, and sometimes in class we say, oh, it doesn't matter which way you choose H. Well, it does this time. Let's say I have my slice here. Again, this is 28 feet. And I say, okay, my H now is the distance that that slice is up off the ground. The problem is we don't know what this measurement here is, and we're going to need that measurement in the end. And that measurement depends on the height of the building, which if you read the problem, we don't know. So we can't use this one since we don't know the height of the building. This is the way that we have to do this problem based on the information given. All right, back to this problem. We have to calculate the work on the slice. So that's the force on the slice times the distance the slice has to move. So let's do the distance the slice has to move. And it's pretty obvious with the way that I've built this, that slice has to move a distance of H to get to the top. So that's H pounds, or I'm sorry, <laughs> H feet. Now I have to talk about the force on that slice. So I know that particular slice is two pounds per foot. And I know the length of that slice is real thin, but it's gonna be the change in H and that's feet. So that just gives me pounds in the end, which is what my force is going to be. So if I want to put this all together, the force on my slice is 2 delta H, and the distance it has to travel is H. Now if I think about the integral, summing up all these different forces, this is going to be dH when I put it in the integral, when I think about H taking the very top slice and taking it over the top, H is 0. When I think about taking the very bottom slice over the top, H is 28. So again, a very, very simple integral to solve. And I'll just solve this one really quick. So that's going to be 2 H squared divided by 2 from 0 to 28. The 2's cancel. I'm left with H squared from 0 to 28. That's going to give me 28 squared minus zero squared, which in the end, take out my trusty calculator, 28 squared gives me 784 foot pounds, which as you see is the actual number that I had here as the answer.